I'm a known person who reacts. Yeah, yeah. And the study that I did. we've looked at uh, bed bugs across the city, we can see um, that they're genetically isolated from each other. That is, uh, in one area of the city, they're more closely related to each other than they are in other areas of the city. No, we don't find any evidence that these different types um, are uh, more resistant or, or uh, a worse pest in any way. We just think it more demonstrates that um, just the way it's difficult for, for instance, for people to get from the east side of Manhattan to the west side of Manhattan on a subway, it appears to be difficult for bed bugs to move east and west across the city as well. So with our research, we didn't find any specific evidence of more or less bed bugs in the different parts of the city. What we really saw, based on the sampling we did, was how they're isolated from each other in different parts of the city. Um, I think uh, our map is more informative to, are there like maybe physical barriers or activities that are happening in different places that may impede the spread of bed bugs or enhance the spread of bed bugs. The next downtown bound local train is trains are entering and leaving the station. We don't see any differences in their appearance and we don't know about any differences in them being adapted uh, and, and doing different things. It more tells us that there are certain aspects of the city that isolate these populations from each other. It is important to note that we found evidence of their DNA, which gave us a picture of the populations of bed bugs in that part of the city, but it doesn't mean that the subways are swarming with bed bugs. It makes sense. Oh, usually different species have different DNA. I hope there is a, a cure for this bed bug infestation because it is really bad. Okay, that's all right. How are you going to make it move? I have to hold it. Oh, the warmth.